to this week's reading vlog. Today is actually my dad's birthday, so I'm going to be going out to dinner with my family later on. He picks for chalet, so I'm sure you guys will see clips of that. Probably him getting sung to because we like to embarrass him. Everybody go wish him happy birthday in the comments. Not that he's actually going to read them, but sometimes he watches my videos. A lot of stuff is actually happening this week. I'm working pretty much every single day. I picked up a lot of shifts because I've been so bored. I start back university on September 6th, which is Thursday. I'm literally going to be in Toronto all day from 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. so that day is going to be a lot of no reading since I'm going to be in class all day. It's also the beginning of September which means Emojiathon is happening. If you guys don't know, Emojiathon is a readathon for the entire month of September that I host with three other people. So I'm trying to complete the bingo board that we have. Is that gonna happen? Probably not. So I figured I'd update you guys on what I am reading. First off, we have The Hate List by Jennifer brown and this is the book i'm reading for the like fist emoji which is supposed to be a book that relates to a social justice thing this is about a school shooting which is very prominent right now in the state i decided that i would finally get to this book i'm about 130 pages in and i'm actually really enjoying it it's like flying by and then my audiobook you all know that i always have a physical book and an audiobook my audiobook for right now is the diabolic by s J. Kincaid and I'm about I think 130 pages into this 126 I actually really like the narrator for this one sometimes I find narrators to be really annoying and it takes me so long to actually listen to the audiobook because of that but I really like this one basically a diabolic is a ruthless killer hired by richer families to protect somebody in that family this follows nemesis who is a diabolic for a girl named Sidonia Sidonia's father ends up pissing off the emperor and is basically in danger now so so the Emperor takes Sidonia as a hostage, but Sidonia's father and mother actually send Nemesis in Sidonia's place since nobody has ever actually seen Sidonia. So it's basically her trying to pass as Sidonia and keep her safe, basically. It's pretty interesting so far. I'm only like as I said, 130 pages in, so it could go downhill from here, but so far, very action-packed, very thrilling. I'm enjoying it. I'm about to go film my most anticipated September releases for 2018, so that'll be up on my channel probably sometime next week. Who really knows with me because I never post things when I'm supposed to. The next clips you'll see are probably going to be from my dad's birthday dinner, so catch ya then. <laughs> Hi, it's Tuesday now. I just got back from the reptile zoo with Ricardo. There's some clips I'll put in here. Are they talking to each other? Just because they're hungry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him sitting. <laughs> I love him. Green emerald tree monitor. He eats you. He's big. So big. <laughs> He's like a cranky old man. Like, you know the old man from Up? <laughs> Just put a little gray wig on him. Oh, they're so light. Yeah, they're not much to <laughs> Very light. So lazy today. Oh my gosh. Me. How do you feel? <laughs> He's showing you his butt. I want his butt to wiggle. Yes, go. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Get him. <laughs> He's so tired. Hello, Randall. Look at his eyes. What are you staring at? It's Randall. Like what? <laughs> Have a staring contest. It's the big salad. A big boy. It's a big diet. It's like been chewing on that same piece of lettuce for like a minute. It's like a little dinosaur. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh. Hello. Eat him. Eat him. Oh, 
Is that so? Mm -hmm. She's a spray skunk. Yes. She can't spray you. Her glands where she would normally spray are removed. Um, rescued her from a fur farm. Um, so like paintbrushes and stuff, they will actually take um, skunk fur. So just kind of make sure if you're buying anything if it has like some quite a of like fur or anything with it. Make sure we know where it's coming from. The highlight of that entire trip was that I met a sloth and if you guys know I absolutely am obsessed with sloths so it was like the highlight of my life. We weren't allowed to touch it because it was only nine months old and apparently their immune systems are really weak so if we were to touch it like it could possibly get sick so no touching allowed. Hello. When she's coming up to that sleep and I can definitely feel how heavy she is. Right after her poop day she weighs five. I actually love her so much. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna cry. But I did get a picture with her, so like my life is complete and I I just love sloth so much. I had to go to work, which is why I look the way I look. Very messy, because you know, don't have to look like a little superstar when you're going to work. I'm probably gonna do a lot more reading at work, but by the time I'm out, it's gonna be super dark out, so I don't wanna update then. So I figured I'd update you guys on what I read last night now. I'm now 200 pages into The Diabolic, still loving it so much. It's very action-packed. I definitely recommend the audiobook because it is really well done. I know a lot of people have like mixed reviews on this book, but audiobook, really good for this one. And then I'm almost done The Hate List. I'm 290 pages in of about 400 so I'm definitely gonna finish this tonight at work. It's really good. I think it will probably be either a 3.5 or a 4 star. Haven't really decided yet. It's really flying by like it's a quick read and it's actually way better than I thought it was gonna be. I need to go make my dinner for work and then I guess I see you guys tomorrow because by the time I'm out of work it's gonna be heck of dark and we don't like the lighting for that you know it's like 6 30 on wednesday i just got off work i figured i would update you guys on what i finished last night and then what i'm going to be reading tonight because i don't think i have any plans so reading it's probably the plan but i finished the hate list by jennifer brown and it was so good way better than i thought it was gonna be i ended up giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars the ending made me cry and I don't cry at books, so the fact that it made me cry, I was very surprised and it just like bumped the rating up for me because I'm a heartless bitch, you know? I also started This Is Kind Of An Epic Love Story by Kieran Callender and this is one of the arcs that I got from the Epic Frenzy event thing. And I'm like 170 pages into it. It's a flying by. It's really, really cute. It has a super diverse cast. It's about these two boys who grew up together and then one of them ends up moving. And then he ends up moving back to the house that he used to live in and they kind of start having crushes on each other and it's just super cute. One of them's deaf so that's cool too. I'm probably gonna finish this tonight because it's taking me like no time to read at all. Today is my first day of year five university and I have two classes today. It starts at two o'clock so I'm going to the train station in about like two hours probably to head up to Toronto. I finished This is Kind of an Epic Love Story by Kieran Callender and it was super cute. It's like a meet cute to best friends to somebody moves away to meet cute again to relationship to heavily ever after and it's just adorable. It reads like a rom-com. It's just a really cute story so I'm probably gonna give it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I'm not leaving for another like two hours so I'm probably gonna listen to more of the diabolic while I wait to leave and pack my bags and my lunch and all that jazz so I'll see you guys probably in the car with my mom. We're gonna tell you the lovely story of me changing my entire course selection the night before <laughs> courses begin. I was taking astronomy originally because I had to drop a whole bunch of courses in my first and second year of university for basketball. So I pretty much have my kin degree, but I have to get my electives in order to actually get the degree. I have three electives that I have to take, so I was like, oh, everybody says astronomy is like a really easy course. So the syllabus comes out and I'm like, oh, cool, let's look through it. So I'm looking through it and then it's talking about how it's very heavily math based and that a lot of people don't like math, but that's okay, we'll get through it. And I'm sitting there like, oh, fuck that, drop the course because your girl cannot do math to save her life. I still have to do addition and subtraction on my fingers. So like all those letters and numbers and shit over top of each other, no thank you. I've never dropped a course faster in my life. I was like, well shit, 
now I need to find another course that falls on a Tuesday or a Thursday because I already gave my work schedule in saying that I couldn't work Tuesday and Thursday, but I could work every other day. I was like, great, I'm looking at all these psychology courses because I'm getting a minor in psychology. So I'm like, might as well just do another psychology course because I know I like that shit. I find a course called Learning and Plasticity, which is like a second year course, which whatever, I don't care. I had the 11 to two course and then I dropped the two to three course and then I had six to nine so I was like oh I can now have like a class that I don't need to be in the morning so I can come later to Toronto so I found a class called animal cognition but turns out I needed a prerequisite of the learning and plasticity in order to take the animal cognition so I had to email the head of psychology and be like begging him basically to let me take the course even though I didn't have the prerequisite and he was like, well, you know, technically you can't take it until you finish that course. And I was like, but technically I would be completing the course first because it's on Tuesday and that course is on Thursday. So I mean, if you really wanna, you know, nitpick technically did complete it. And he was like, oh, well, have you taken uh, Psych 270 or Psych 290? Then you can take the course. Like, well, I have, 270 but I don't have 290 and he was like ah oh, well have you taken anything else that like is equivalent to neuroscience and I was like well I've taken like a shit ton of courses about the brain so do any of these counted and I listed like 12 of my courses and he was like yeah sure whatever and I was just like fuck yeah what time did this all happen 5 a.m. <laughs> you, you two are talking <laughs> but hey I got what I wanted so who's the real winner here so now I don't have to go to Toronto until 12 o'clock instead of 8 o'clock we have class from 2 till 9 now so I'm only gonna be in Toronto till 11 get home at 11 yeah. but the point is everything works out for me in the long run <laughs> I have horseshoes up my ass this is the best day of my life because mom's taking me to the mandarin and i'm gonna eat so much food are you just leaving you don't like my singing you're gonna have so many more rounds round than me. one yes round two no round three full round three Oh. And four. <laughs> Still not eating anything. Are you eating all of that? No, I got one of each for both of us. But look, you have to try whatever that is. This. Oh shit, you gotta try it too. You first. You first. I don't even know what it is. It's like dragon fruit, I think it's called. You didn't take big enough of a piece. What does it taste like? Just put the whole thing in your mouth. Just do it. Oh. I can't tell if I hate it or like it. It's it's very little taste. It's crunchy though. So my mom gets very <laughs> offended apparently no, when people it? take food out. <laughs> when people take food out from the buffet. So this lady sitting beside us and she takes her purse out from under the table and she starts putting what was it cookies or something in her bag and my mom just gets so worked up about it and she's sitting there going. <sighs> That is just wrong. People should not do that. That is just wrong. <laughs> I never said that. And then she made at least 17 more comments throughout our entire meal about this lady and her purse and how she hopes that they like Who made frisk the her down. Who made the comment about the Mary Poppins bag? You! After you said, oh, you know, you should bring a purse when you and Ricardo go, and I said, yeah, I'll make sure that it's a Mary Poppins bag so, so that it's big. So you were insinuating that this lady's purse needed to be bigger <laughs> so she could have put even more than the three dozen cookies and the pie in there. <laughs> you offended? She put a whole pie in. <laughs> but the whole meal, Mom's just like, that's just wrong. It's just People shouldn't do that. I hope she gets chased out when she leaves. Is she going to be dragging the purse on the floor because there's so much stuff in it? <laughs> what kind of scanner was it? A carbide. <laughs> oh dear. This is what I put up with people. This. Do you love me? That I do. Went to lunch. Bought some books. You know, the usual for us on uh, this lovely Friday afternoon. How much did the five books cost you? Five dollars for five books. Well, that one hurt way more. <laughs> Second one always does a little more because you know it's coming. 
it's now Sunday. As you saw yesterday, I got my third piercings done because I was in a really bad mood and I was just like, hmm, let's get a piercing. So that's what happened yesterday. I also finished The Diabolic by SJ Sincade and I'm probably gonna give it a 4.5. I really, really, really liked it. I'm about to go to work, so I'm going to end the vlog now because I still need to edit it and have it up for tomorrow, but I'm not getting out of work until like 7.30, so I won't be home until like 8, so we're gonna have to edit quickly, so that means we're ending now. I don't know if I'm gonna have a reading vlog up next week because I have work literally every single day now next week other than the two days that I'm at school Tuesday and Thursday so it's not gonna be a very interesting vlog I'm not doing anything so probably not gonna be up I'm thinking about doing a week one emojiathon wrap-up because I've already read seven books so I feel like might as well do one of those so stay tuned for that but I will see you guys in my next video good bye <laughs>